What's going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. In today's video we're going to create the rewind effect in LumaFusion. We're not going to download any overlays and we're not going to use any third party apps. We're going to create this in LumaFusion itself and it looks something like this. Now this is an effect which has been highly requested for a long, 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 long time now. Especially from you, Drew, you have been asking for this for so long. Basically every single video you have been there commenting, asking for a rewind effect. So now you have it and it took me some time to create it, but I finally got it out. Now there's one thing I want to say first and that is you will have a better result if you go to YouTube or Google and then search for overlay or rewind overlay effects or rewind overlay. You know, if you search for overlays, like rewind overlays, you will get something which is created in After Effects, which is kind of a step up from LumaFusion, just a tiny step up from LumaFusion. And uh, that allows you to add the, the screen blending mode to that overlay and you will have a better looking rewind effect. But with that said, I really want to show you how you can create this in LumaFusion as well, step by step, and how we can uh, uh, create our own overlay with the, uh, you know, with the playback icon and, and so on and sound effects and all of that. So with that said, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would be highly appreciated. Make sure to uh, push the notification bell as well if you want to be a part of the notification squad. If there's any presets and anything like that you'd like to check out for LumaFusion, head over to robhkvlogs.com and check out the presets. Now let's head over to LumaFusion. Now once we get over to the iPad here and over to LumaFusion, we have two clips on the timeline which we're going to use to create this rewind effect which you saw in the beginning of this tutorial. Now this is really really simple so we're just going to dive straight into it and um, uh, we're going to go over and create a new overlay title. Now this overlay title you can place where you want the uh, rewind effect to be. So let's say we're going to just have it in the middle here and we're going to go into edit on this uh, uh, text layer, delete your text here and we're going to add some shapes. Now I recommend that you try different shapes for different uh, looks. Uh, but what I found to be the best is, of course, using the lines here. So we're going to add some different lines and I'm simply going to duplicate this, place it a little bit further down, maybe change the color to black and duplicate this again, place it further down and again, and you simply want to duplicate so you have something which is looking like it's tearing the, uh, the screen. Now you can use any colors you want. I found the red and the black and the white to be quite interesting for this type of effect here. So we're going to go on and use those colors. Now you can always go over to YouTube or over to Google and then search for YouTube uh, um, rewind overlays and you will find a lot which you can download and then add to LumaFusion. So to get the best results for a rewind effect, I would suggest that you do that. But I also want to show you that it's actually possible to make this straight inside of LumaFusion without downloading anything and without um, uh, using any third party plugins. You can simply use LumaFusion only to create the look, which you saw in the intro as well. Now you can see that we created the lines here. The next thing we're going to do is to go over to the PicoWip tool here and we're going to add an effect which is called the screen. So now that we added the screen effect here, you can see that all the black lines got really, really affected by that. So the white lines didn't take uh, much effect of the, uh, uh, the screen here. But as you see, once we adjust the radius, you can get this to look quite interesting. So there's a lot of different uh, ways you can make this look, uh, to be honest, and I kind of find it easier to just put it to somewhere around two. Now you can also adjust the blend here if you want to do that. And you can add other different effects as well. Now I see that we missed something on this layer as well. So we're going to go over to title here. And what I'm going to do is to simply add one more shape here. And this is the white one. So I'm going to extend this. And I'm going to make sure that the white one is on the top here. And I'm going to go back to the full squared shape 
and I'm going to lower the opacity to around 9, 8, 10 ish. Now, once we've done that, we can go back to color and effects here and we can see that we have a tiny, a sort of different effect here. You can also go over to frame and fit and over to blending and see if there is anything which is making this better when it comes to the different blending modes. You can use a screen, of course, which will add a little bit of transparency to it. You can use uh, dark colors, which will basically add those lines here, which will only be black. And you can add a different type of, uh, of blending modes. I think we're just gonna go with lighten for this one. And once we applied the effects to uh, the, and the shapes now, and, and this uh, screen effect to the lines here, the next thing is some movements. We need some movement in the shot as well. So what we're gonna do is to go over to the peak wave tool here, and we're gonna go down until we find, uh, let's see if we can find, um, we can try with the op art, you can go with angles, and you can go with different things here, depending on the look that you want. Once we play around with this, you can see that the lines are moving. So we're basically gonna use this to illustrate that we have this uh, typical uh, a tearing in the screen, which is uh, common when we are making these uh, rewind effects here. So we're gonna go to the beginning and I'm simply gonna drag this uh, header here down to the bottom here, make a keyframe. Then I'm gonna go a few frames here forward in time and I'm gonna drag this all the way up, a few frames forward in time and drag it down. And we're simply gonna continue to do this. Now, if you find it to go a little bit too fast, you can always lower the gap between those keyframes as well. So now that we're finished with the animation, it will look something like this. So that's basically the first part of this uh, rewind effect. And the next thing is that we might want to add something to the background here as well, like the image itself. So what I'm gonna do is to simply take this and I'm gonna drag it up um, to layers here so we can actually have uh, two more layers of this bottom clip here, which is the background photo underneath this rewind. Uh, image tearing uh, or whatever you want to call it. It's basically an illustration of a bad signal. That's what it is. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is to select the bottom clip here and I'm just going to use the in and out points here to uh, uh, to select it and then cut it and then I'm going to duplicate it and uh, I'm going to go into this clip right here and straight over to frame and fit and over to cropping. I'm going to crop this in to around there, make a keyframe at the beginning here. I'm just gonna drag this down, go to the end, and I'm gonna increase it or move it towards the middle here. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna move over to color and effects and over to the pick whip tool up here. And I'm gonna add this effect called, I think it was a big pinch. And I'm gonna take the radius all the way down so we have the radius as zero. And I'm gonna go to the beginning here, make a keyframe. I'm gonna take the knob here and drag it all the way to the bottom, go to the end, and I'm gonna drag it all the way to the top. Now we're gonna do that one more time here. So I'm simply gonna duplicate this and place that above. Go into edit on this as well. And uh, for this one, we only need to go over to frame and fit and over to cropping, then go to the first keyframe drag this to the top, then go to the last keyframe and drag this toward the middle here, just above the previous one. So now we have something that looks like this. So this adds something extra to the uh, tear glitching as well. You can add different effects to this, of course, if you want to do that. But now we're basically done with this um, rewind uh, uh, illustration here. The next thing is, of course, to add the different uh, uh, playback icons here. So we're gonna go over to the uh, text layer. We just made a new text layer here with by using the uh, uh, overlay title here. We're gonna go into this, over to titles, and we're gonna delete your text here. Then we're gonna go over to shape and add a new shape. 
and this time we're going to add the triangle. Now we're going to rotate this triangle at 90 degrees. There we have it at 90 and we can now just uh, adjust the size here and put it somewhere in the middle like, like that. I'm going to go up to the shape here and duplicate it. And then I'm going to go down to the center X here and drag it a little bit to the right. So now we have this um, playback icon as well. And uh, I'm going to go to the beginning of this inside of frame and fit because I want some animation to it. I'm going to make a keyframe and I'm going to go a little bit further into the timeline here, somewhere like here. You can always adjust and, um, and play around with the uh, gap between the keyframes to see what is uh, suitable for you. Now, once we created this keyframe right here, we're going to adjust the size here and make it a little bit bigger. We're going to go towards the middle here and we're going to take the size down again. And we're going to go a little bit further towards the end, increase the size. And then we're going to go to the end and put it back to normal. So now that we get out to the timeline again and we scrub through, you can see that we have this sort of rewind effect applied to the clip. Now let's do a playback of that before we add the sound effect. Now you can make this as short and as long as you want. You can also, let's say if we simply make a cut right here, we delete this and we take the other one here and duplicate. And then we extend this a little bit more and we can go over to edit and we can go to the speed and reverse here and we can increase the speed of it. So it's a lot faster just place it like this. So it lines up and then we can actually, we can take it a little bit, a few more frames like that. And we're going to make a cut here. And on this last part here, we're simply going to go into edit and put the speed back to normal. So now you have the fast motion, which is coming in or the normal motion here. And then this should be reversed, but it's 14 minutes long. So it's going to take a day to reverse this clip. That's why I'm not reversing this right now. But uh, if you have a smaller clip, you can easily reverse it. And uh, then you will have this playing at normal, just straightforward clip. And then it comes to this point and then it will start from this point here and then it will go backwards and it will go a lot faster as you can see here in the background of the overlays that we created as well. I'm going to take the sound effect here and just copy this, go to the end here and I am going to paste it. And there we have the sound effect. So let's do a playback of this. Perfect. Now I also included this project file right here, just in case uh, that you want to uh, see more uh, of the project itself. And if you want to copy the effects and save them as your own presets, or if you want to use uh, these overlays right here, the lines here and the arrows with the animation and the sound effect for your future clip. So this project file is included and you can find it down in the description below completely for free. So I suggest that you download this and play around with it and maybe change some effects as well, add some new ones. And of course, as always, if you decide to make this for your videos, make sure to upload it to Instagram and then tag me so I can check out your video. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, you will have a much better effect if you download some overlays. But now at least you know the process of how you can create something like this. And maybe that also gave you some ideas on how you can uh, uh, make different overlays. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this gave you some ideas as well. So you can make your uh, uh, own overlays in form of a rewind or fast forward or however you want to make them. Now, with that said, uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That would be really appreciated. I'm going to be back in a few days.